all right guys so welcome back had a good uh amount of sleep so i think we can continue from here eh? all right cool 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 so um yeah so we were able to like add service as an admin right which i created which uh sent in as chidi and we could also um start the laundry process so uh just delete this so we can start the laundry process mm, my all right so we start the laundry process and we could enter um uh, close to laundry basket but i don't want to do this as an admin so let me just quickly log out and let me just create so a user so i'll do user one and sign up all right so user one all right so i'm signing as user one now and uh, you can start laundry process so let me just quickly create add services to carts. That's what I this is the last time. So I'll come over to laundry, go to views of PY. Mm, so let's start from here. So we have add to carts. So we just do add services to add services to carts. Mm. Meant to add the function, then I'm putting requests. All right, so before we do anything here, we actually need to have a form. All right, so come over here, and then we're just going to do service cards. All right, and add service to cart form so forms model form so class method model um service cards not service service cards and fields so let's see let's go over to model to py uh we need service so we'll come here and then we're going to say uh service right cool so we'll quickly come over to um view stop ui just import that very quickly um uh, add to service platform and then we're going to come here and say if request the method is post from is as a service card from request a post if from that is valid from the save commit and is going to be followed right so let's see if we have users here okay user cool so we'll just say VR dot user um, requests dot user. They want to get the carts, so we want to get the cart from the session ID so that we can automatically fill in or, or automatically assign a value to this cart. All right, so to do that, we're going to say cart. And then, since we do not have carts imported, we'll just do so very quickly. So, we'll say from what else? Import carts. So, we'll come over here, and then we're just going to say carts dot objects. All right. Dot get. And then we want to get the ID. So, ID. Nope. Dot get. So, we're going to say ID equals to requests. Let's set. Um, that session 
part ID. So we'll just say PR dot cart is equal to cart and VR dot save. Right? And then I want to also do something. So get OBJ service cards. So service cards is okay. So <clears throat> let me try to explain what I, I want to do. So for each time we add um, a service to cards, yeah, we want that service to reflect on the same page. Uh, I think it's better I do this than explaining so that you guys will see exactly what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, so let me just do that. Let me just do the whole thing and I'll, exp I'll explain what is happening. Or you guys will just see for yourself what is going on. So I'll come over here and I would do service cards. All right. So I'll do service cards dot objects dot filter. All right. Where cards is for the cart. So I'll come here, I'll do count um, for zero for OBJ and get OBJ and just to call OBJ dot service right dot price. So let's look at that very quickly. So OBJ um so let's just look at what's going on um so obj in get obj so we're doing from service and every service has a price right cool from service the price uh what we want to do now is i'm trying to get the logic so times cart dot quotes amount right Cart dot close amount. So we're getting from this one here, I believe. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So cart dot close amount. And then count is equals to, why am I doing double spaces? Count was calc. Alright. And then, um, the total amount is equals to count then cut that save cut the total amount is equals to count then count that save okay we we'll have messages dot uh, info requests um service this is a service has been added to your carts right turn redirect a service to carts right so come over here i'm going to do else messages the warning i'm going to take in requests sorry something went wrong all right and then i'm going to do return redirect i should have directed here back Okay, then our else, the else form is add, add service to cut form, add service form. Where did I get add service form from? What's going on? From our service, oh, not this one, not, not our service form. We're doing add 
let's save it to cut form right and cut is cut those objects all right to get id just the same thing we did up you guys hold on one minute you guys should hold on one minute please all right cool so um same thing that we did at the top so we say id request requests that's that session all right and then i just say cut underscore id so we'll say get obj so get obj is going to be service cards dot objects right that's filter and cards is equals to cards so let's see service cards filter categories of cards yes and then we have our context form and we get obj okay return render requests laundry cut with html so have our contexts okay very quickly we're just going to come over to urls uh path add service to cards view to cards all right so over to views and we'll just copy this very quickly come to templates come to laundry um paste in here that html so we'll just come over to um add to cut so we'll just copy everything and then we'll paste it in here as well too. so this one is we we'll just call this pick She's she's a service. Um, call this service, right? Okay. So, um, excuse me. So, when we click on submit here, it takes us here. So let's just try. Let's just try. Let's see. All right. So let's start the laundry process. Right. So amount of clothes so so submit add services to carts okay i think i made a mistake um hold on so add services to carts so add service to carts and services to carts all right so let's go back fresh let's see three so submit so here it's saying add clothes to laundry baskets so choose a service rather um so come over okay so come over to um i just forgot now just to do. okay so we'll just come over okay so we need to change this one all right so come over here and we'll do uh what services do you need all right so choose a service all right so refresh what services do you need choose a service so drag on in so we now once we choose a service we want to also display that service on the screen which is what we just did um here which is what we did here right so just watch uh i need to 
I need to do something. I copy this, right? Paste it in here. It all give us two forms, side by side. Yes. So what we do now is we want to um delete this form. We don't need this. All right. Hold on. Uh, okay. So we want to get a lot and uh, copy right paste in here documents so just say for obj and get obj and for um, so we'll call this obj dot uh, service dot name. All right. So we'll come over here. Uh, we're going to refresh. So what service do you What services do you need? So we, sh we should see something here, but we can't see anything. So that's what's going on. So for obj and obj service.name mm, okay let's let's check something very quickly uh, service carts laundry service laundry carts laundry service carts mm, nothing is added mm. Mm. okay let's let's do something let's quickly do um, let's try something let's go right here let's see what's going wrong this is info request okay as I said, the cards. So it should get. It should get triggered once we run it, but it is not. So let's see. Dry washing. Okay. You can see that was added to cut. So we can see dry washing is added to cut. So you can do cool ironing. Submit. So cool ironing is added to our cart. We can do solid touching to submit. Solid touching is added to cuts. Makes sense, right? So let's refresh. So come over here. All services added to parts. So this is saying that we have these services in our cuts. So let's look for a way where we can delete these um, services in case we don't need them. So then again, um, I want a way where we can see the total amount of what we are spending or what we are, oh, I'm trying to look forward to the right word. Or alternatively, instead of us doing it here, we can just do it on the, um, we can do it on the ch um, checkout page. Right, so let this one just before adding to cut, adding services to cut. All right, so we need this a lot that has this X. Yeah, this one. So let's just copy this one. And I'll just paste this one here. From my document. Uh, so we just do... VJ the service the name. I want to call this primary. So refresh, and we can. Yeah, although it hasn't gone yet. Anyways, it's going to be here. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I just have to show you guys this. Mm, okay, let's try something. So when I copy this again. Let me copy this one. 
right? Paste it in here. Uh, see, I'm not really good at, I'm not really good at UI UX, so, so don't judge me. But let's try something though. Um, I don't know. Okay, you know what? Let me know what to do. Remove this. Uh, let me just use this one, right? Comment this out very quickly, or rather, comment this out very quickly. Okay. Okay, so I can just write the um, total amount. Before we, yeah, I can write the, the total amount of what we are spending, basically. So I can do something like this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, so I can just say total amount for so I can say um, for get a budget, no, no, no. total amount for get obj dot um so get obj is service cart right that's cart dot foot amount yeah so let's see if that's going to be correct no total amount for all right let's just look at what's going on so get obj service cards Service cards, um, cart rather. Yes, obj. That's carts. The close of <coughs> the close amount. Mm, hold on. Mm, total amount for. I think I'm making a mistake here. I don't think this is going to work fine. Wait, hold on, let me see. I need to get the carts. Mm, I need to get the carts. Um uh, let me do views. Oh, what am I doing? Alright, so let me do views. Let me add the carts here. Right. So uh total amount the no total amount for three four votes with the services above is so we'll just do cards the total amounts. So come over here, let's refresh. I thought I already corrected this now. Run server. All right, so you can see total amount for three clothes with the services above. Is cultural amounts, right? So the to, total amount for three quotes for the services above is one. No, I'm just uh, engine. Mm, so let's just quickly do the let's let's do the price very quickly. So we'll see what we're, what what the price is for the quotes. So price. Um, obj dot um, service dot price refresh so you can see dry washing is 10 cool ironing is 200 naira so solid touching is 200 naira so what we did now is uh Okay, let me, let me get my calculator first. <laughs> Calculate this. 
So let's see what we're doing. Okay. Let me shoot my calculator here. Let me just do this. Okay. So see what is going on. So since we have three clothes that we want to dry wash, which is 300, we also have to that same three clothes, we also want to do cool um, ironing. So 200 times three is 600, so plus 600, right? So we also had, so we also have solid um, starching for 200 naira for three clothes, which is 600. So I'll add plus 600 again, right? That is of course one five. Right, which is one five, so you can see that. Okay, so let me quickly do something. So I'll just say engine, and I would um, make this bold. All right, so put everything inside here. So come over here, refresh. Yes. So this is how I want it to look, to look like. So, um, so, what, so, so when we add a service to carts, right, a laundry service, it shows up here, right? And then, yeah, so sorry. Add uh, to do something real quick. Okay, so when we add a service, Right, it shows up here. Okay. Now we have three services that we want, right? But um at the same time I said I want to be able to delete this and then it just gets deleted from here. And then once it gets deleted, this amount is going to change based on what we have here. So to do that, let's just open um let's open our VS code, come over to just the py and we'll do delete def delete service from cards. Right? So we request taking PK. So we'll see get obj equals to service cards dot objects dot get All right pk is equals to pk get obj dot delete All right then we'll also do cards is cards dot objects All right dot get where id is equals request that session cut ID. Okay, does that make sense? And then we're going to do get OBJ equals to service cards dot objects dot filter cuts is close to cuts right counts zero so we'll say for obj and get obj calc is obj dot service dot price times cuts dot quotes put amount count is equals to count plus calc cut dot total amount alright is equals to count cut the save Return redirects and we'll say add service to cuts. 
All right, all right, all right. I don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully it works. Okay, so let's uh let's let's do something. So let's do URLs and then we're going to do path. We just say remove. No no no, I didn't call it remove, so delete series from cards. Taking int. Alright. And then what's the time? Thirty minutes, okay. Delete service from cards, NPK, delete service from cards, name, delete service from cards. Right? Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. So come over here, just copy this very quickly. Um press that X button again. So just turn this to anchor tag, right? And then just do URLs, and then we we'll just do OVG.pk. So hopefully each time, so so hopefully each time we delete or we click on this button, then this price is going to change. So if I click on this button. I still came back. Wow, I feel so betrayed. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on. Um, um let's just just delete this. Hold on, hold on, let's let's do something. Um BTN close. Uh this means a large type button. Let's let's delete let's delete this. I think it's what is causing the problem. Let's refresh. Ah, no, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Button close. <laughs> let's delete this one. Mm, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know which one. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Let me refresh. So let's look at this. No, it's still coming up. I think it's this one. Huh, see me guessing on live tutorial. Okay, so let's let's delete that one. Let's see. So refresh. So delete this. Hmm. Something is going on. Hmm. Let's try this one. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it works. Refresh. Yes, so this one worked. So you can see one two since we uh deleted one service. So since we deleted one service is one two. If I delete another one, it changes to six hundred, right? Okay, so if I come over and I do okay, I want to add dry washing and I submit. So you can see um nine hundred. Makes sense, yeah um yeah that makes sense okay let me refresh so let me just put um what is it called it's messages dot info i taking requests service has been Move from cuts, right? So if I remove the service, if I remove from cuts, uh, more like a warning. And if I remove this service, okay, so it happened from cuts. So all services. So I don't want to see this when we haven't added anything to cut so to do that it's very simple come over here and then i would say um i'll say um come over here 
All right, so I'll say if um so hold on if if get obj right so i'll do and if so let's see so this should go out since nothing is there but we want to add something it should come up right so when I delete, it should go out. So when I add solid touching, it should come up. Yeah, that's what I want. So service has been added to your to your cart. Two hundred. All right. So come again. Do cool ironing. Submit. It's one thousand two hundred. If I delete this, it comes to six hundred. Makes sense. All right. So. Next thing we want to do now is to take them or take our users to checkout. All right. So yeah. So what about if we want to um, change what we added to the cart? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to do that later. But let's just focus on what we have to do now. So let's do continue to ch uh, to checkout here. So to do that, come over here. Uh, we'll just say check out. So continue to check out. Uh, continue to check out is quite easy though, right? Mm. Okay, so let me, let's just do that very quickly and see how it looks like. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, for the time, I think. Okay. So I need to go over to my views and the PY and I need to do checkout. Before I do checkout, I need to do a form though for checkout. So let's do checkout. First checkout form. Um, forms, model form, class, meta, uh, model, the model is checkout, did I say module, checkout here, yeah? fields, Mm, so let's look at models, full name, email ID, all right, so let's see, full name, email ID, um, delivery address, phone number, phone number All right cool so we'll just do yeah so we'll just create um views right so would we'll, uh, do checkout form All right and we'll define and do check uh no ch uh checkout Let's do check out here. Plus. All right, so let's think of this logic. So we're going to use for blah, 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 blah. Okay, don't think it. <laughs> okay, so we'll do if requests, the method is posts, All right? Uh, form is uh check out form request the posts um hold on just a minute uh models get cards all right cool 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 okay i'm just trying to check that out okay so we're going to do a form that's 
is valid. Alright, so obviously on the save, commit false. Alright, and then we want to get the cart. So we say cart request that session. Alright, and then we are gonna get um card ID. Okay, and via a cart is obviously carts. We are to save and then return render. So, um now we've done check um checkouts, we need to do something. So return render um do, 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 return render um no hold on card save um uh, okay just hold on hold on this is this is cracking my brain up so let's see what what I have to do to return render Okay. Um, so we're going to do return render payment. Although I haven't created payment yet, All right? But I'm going to create it very soon. Uh, do requests payment. The payment that's HTML. All right. No. Uh, do you know what? When we save, oh, hold on. Make payments from wallet. That is HTML. Right. And when we do that. Else messages dot warning. So here wrong. So just to sorry. Something went wrong. Return redirect. Check out here. All right. Else form is check out form. All right. Um, carts. We have carts dot objects. I don't even. I don't think I have to even put this. Uh, okay, let me just put it here. Dot get. No, I don't think I won't have to put this. I don't have to put this. Oh, let me just continue. Object dot get and ID. It has requests. The session. Cut underscore ID. All right. So say get obj. Uh, service cut that objects that filter cuts equals to cut context form form cuts Cards, get OBG, get OBG. All right, all right, all right. To return, render, requests, um, laundry, 
right so laundry is let's do check out here HTML and you're gonna have context all right all right all right so before we do anything let's come over here and then we're going to do path check out here Check out here, makes sense. Um, hold on, let me just set it in. So just check out here. All right, cool, 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 cool. Progress, progress, progress. So come over here to laundry. Nope. Check out here the HTML. All right, so we can just come over to uh, add service to cuts. We'll copy everything. Come to check out here, paste. Let me just clear my environment. Make sure everything is sane. All right, cool. So check out here. We just do check out here. All right, um, can we just quickly look at the form? So we'll have full name. What is your full name? So here is your full name. Um, email ID. Email address. Email ID. Um, delivery address. Uh, oh, I'm just a delivery address. Delivery address. Next one is going to be phone number. Did I call you phone number? Yeah, phone number. Yes. Yes. So um, the, um, proceed to payments. Proceed to pay. Rather, not proceed to payments. All right, cool. So when I do this, all right, uh, so come over to access to cuts, continue to check out. Let's refresh. I don't think this is going to go through because this is going to fail, obviously. That's uh, error. Okay, so continue to check out. So click on continue to check out. This will not take us anywhere, obviously, um, because this. So check out here. All right, so refresh. So you can see, check out here. What's your full name? So we're going to proceed to pay. So, um, we enter our phone name, email ID, delivery address, phone number. Then, when we are done, we are going to proceed to pay, and this will take us to our wallet, and then we're going to make payment. All right. So I think in the next video, let me just dedicate that video to anything payment. So because we are going to have to fund our wallet from. Our credit card obviously or bank whatever you're using so i think i'll just leave that for the next video and we're going to call it quits in this one so i'll see you in the next video uh, bye for now